On your marks, get set, let's go to the beach! With friends or family, the beach is the ideal place to relax and have fun. What a pleasure to feel the sand under your feet. Listening to the ocean roar, looking at the approaching waves, taking in the fresh air. The beach is a real sensory paradise. At the seaside, you can always meet new people and make new friends. The sea air changes moods. People overflow with energy as if every breath of air was invigorating them. Even if the sun isn't out, you can always have fun on the beach. Skipping, walking, kite flying, building sand castles, you never get bored. When the tide is high, the castles will disappear, but the memory of a pleasant day will remain. Under the sunshine of the tropics, even at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, the water can seem cold at first. Don't pay any attention to this first impression and don't hesitate to dive in. Once you're in the water, you get used to the temperature very quickly and you begin to play. Watch out when you have to throw the ball back. It's very light and may be carried away by the wind. Leapfrog on the beach. Have you ever tried that? Obviously, you need to trust your friends when you're jumping like sheep because you could get kicked. But don't start counting sheep or you might fall asleep. This man certainly isn't likely to fall asleep. He's water skiing and he's being pulled by a boat which gives him speed. He's slaloming between the buoys. Avoid getting in his way or you might get splashed. This man must have woken up late. He rushed down to the port without thinking of bringing his equipment. He forgot his skis. He must have big muscles because he doesn't seem to have a backache. There are always people who would do anything to be on camera. He's now hanging on with just one hand. Hey mister, smile, you're being filmed. Did you see that? He waved to us. Everything seems to be going just fine for him. It's funny to think that what we consider sport today could have been a form of torture in the days of the pirates. Don't you think there has to be another way to stop the boat moving without getting so wet? When the wind gets up, no more need for a motor to move across the water. A board and a sail will do. Learn to control the wind that fills out the sail and turn the board with your feet. Of course, it's not that simple. You've also got to learn not to slip off the board. After the first few attempts, you'll finally get a taste of this board's pleasures. At sea, far from the shore, you can now skim across the water. One gust of wind and you'll find yourself alone in the middle of the ocean. You can then appreciate the pleasures of the sea that is altogether magnificent, majestic and full of mysteries.